Hey! Today I'm giving these 10 CSS tips to you for free, so why don't you watch the full video and let me know which ones you knew and which ones are new to you. So let's say we have this white container and I want to have a maximum width of 750 pixels, but I also want to make it responsive. Let's see how we can achieve that. So by setting its maximum width at 750 pixels, my container will stay 750 pixels. Then I can also add the width of 90%, which will make it nice and responsive. So we have 750 pixels width. So if I lower the screen size, it will always have this gap on the left and the right, which will make it fully responsive for any kind of screen. This is due to 90% width, so it lets 10% space on the right and left, which equals to 5% here and 5% here. Pretty simple, isn't it? Wait until you see the next one. Now we have this paragraph that we want to change the style of the very first letter. We can do this by using a simple pseudo class. So first things first, we add a class to our awesome container. Then we add this pseudo class to our class. Then we add the font size we wish, the color we wish, the font family if we want to change it. We hit save and boom. We styled the first letter of this paragraph. You might never use it, but it's nice to know it in case you will ever have a blog or someone will ask you to do something like that. The third one is a quite special one. I'm not gonna say I used it a lot, but in some cases it might be useful. And as always, it's good to know. The more you know, the better, right? Now we have this container and we want to make it adjustable. We simply add the property of resize and we have the, the option to set it to both horizontal or vertical. Let's say both for now. And we also need to set the overflow to auto, otherwise it's not going to work. And, and here you can see the icon that appears here, which we can click and resize the box however we wish. This is nice to have in case you want to allow the user to resize specific components or just for them to spend more time on your website. Now let's say we have this list of items and we want to apply some specific styling to every item except from the last one. How we can achieve this without adding an extra class? That's where the pseudo class not comes in play. I'll show you how. We get the specific list of items, we add the not pseudo class and inside the parentheses we add the element or the specific child, we don't want to apply the specific styling. For example, let's make this of color red. In this case, what do you think will happen? And you guessed it right. It paints everything red except from the last one. Same thing we can do if we want, for example, to not paint, whoops, to not paint the second one, the second element or the same thing for the third element. You got my point. Let's say we have one million different items in this list and we want to not style specific ones. And that's how we can easily exclude some item from a list from being styled. And what we have here is a really, really nice, good looking, smoking looking button, which on hover has a specific styling. Hey, just reminding you to subscribe. Now, I don't really like this transition and I would love to have it a bit smoother. How can we make this transition battery smooth? Using this single line, we can add transition to all properties of the element at 0.5 seconds and with the is functionality of is. We can use here is in, is out, etc. For the purpose of this demo, we will use is. Hmm, much better, huh? Feels like putting butter on your morning bread. Smooth. For this tip, I have three amazing and very good looking sections. Clicking on the first section, will scroll to the third section, but the animation is kind ugly. Actually, there's no animation. So let's say we want to add, again, a battery smooth animation. We should come to our CSS, create the HTML property, and that inside scroll behavior smooth. Using this property will smoothly scroll from section one to section three like a pro. Here we have another common case. We have these three amazing blocks that say something like this inside, 
and we want to add some spacing in between because this looks really ugly to be honest so one way is to use the old-fashioned way margin and add manually margin between these blocks and the other cool and awesome way of doing it is by adding to the parent container display flex and then simply add gap equals to 30 pixels or whatever pixels you want and here is a nice equal space between all the elements please start using flex flex is so strong flex is so powerful this is an interesting one we have this really smoking hot image and we want to scale it on hover meaning to make it bigger or animate it when when hover we just need to add the hover pseudo class on image element at the transform scale of 1.1 and this will scale the image to 1.1 the default size is 1 so hovering it does nothing if I want to make it even bigger we can do 1.5 or so and so on and so on now I have something that I don't really like here this transition is horrible so what we can do we can add this transition all 0.5 seconds is as we learned earlier and this will make the transition really 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 smooth I want to show you we can add this filter grayscale of 0 on hover and filter grayscale to 1 when not hover in that case the image will be black and white and on hover watch this it pops and gets colorized now for this one if you have this long text and you want to truncate it and display the dot 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 next to the I don't know the limit of text you want to show you can very very easily do it using CSS only without JavaScript with these three lines first one being white space no wrap then you hide the overflow using overflow hidden and then text overflow ellipsis this way it will truncate the text to exactly where you need it simple enough in it the last one for today that I want to show you is how to create a custom scroll bar you see that thing on the very 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 right that's the scroll bar how we can achieve this this can all be done by pseudo classes so the first thing would be to use the webkit scroll bar which is how we can set the width now in this case I made it really really thick just for demo purposes I can even make it more I can make it 80 normally you should be doing something like 10 or something like that which for these demo purposes I will make it a little bit more thick then webkit scroll bar track the background of the scroll bar then we have the webkit scroll bar thumb which I want to give a nice color of blue which will be the actual draggable item and then I want to add a hover animation of a light green which makes this even nicer now thanks for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some value from it and feel free to give a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one